All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sleep Clinic. It's weekly, and at the moment, every Wednesday at one o'clock. And I'm so excited to have Hannah here. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady with lots of wisdom to share with us. And I'm really interested in the wonderful work she does. And because sleep is very important to us, it's one of the keys to well-being. It's fantastic to come and hear what she has to say. So over to you, Hannah. Very excited. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. So I wanted to ask a, a question. You might think, what has that got to do with sleep? But it does have to do with health. How much time and money do you spend on hygiene, on personal hygiene and keeping your workplace and your, and your uh, house clean? I'm sure it's thousands of dollars every year at least because you, you maybe you have somebody that cleans for you or maybe you do it yourself. Then you have all the products that you have to use. You have time that you spend on it. Now, so we realize the importance because if we're not hygienic, then we get sick. Now, my next question is, how much time and money do you spend on mental hygiene? Keeping your mind clean. Now, the thing is, I know people think, oh, well, he or she has a dirty mind and is only focused on one thing, you know, when, it, when we talk about dirty minds, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those thoughts that are stuck in our head that are keeping us awake at night, those things that worry us, those traumas that we have experienced when we were young, all those things all those experiences can lead to uh, mental dirt, mental rubbish. Now, if we want to sleep at night, it is important that we get rid of that mental rubbish. And uh, that is what I'm going to be talking about because the lack of sleep or struggling with sleep is a symptom. It's a symptom that something in our life is out of balance and the funny thing is that our subconscious mind thinks it's helping us. It thinks, okay, if you're overwhelmed and you, you have too much to do, let me make sure that you sleep less so that you have more hours to do what you have to do. Of course, we all know that it's counterproductive because as we have lack of sleep, we can't concentrate, we fall asleep on the job, we are unproductive, we're easily overwhelmed. So it's not working. The subconscious mind is trying, but it's not working. So I want to share with you several things about what could be keeping you awake and how you can solve it. And I want to, I, can I share my screen? Yes. I want to share my screen about a, a product that I have. Now, I want to share it, not to sell you the product, but it will also have different topics that could be keeping you awake. And then either you can use my solution or you have other ways of addressing the topics. So let me start with sharing my screen. Okay, so where a person will go is um, they, they can go to my website, the affirmations.co. Now you've heard maybe of affirmations that you spell with double F, but the affirmations, as you can see here, it's at, with a double P-H. And then people can sign up for it for free um, for seven days and try them out. So once you've signed up, you can go to the play affirmations and I'm going to look with you at the different subjects that we have. <clears throat> All right, so the one thing that can keep us awake is that we're struggling with our health. Uh, maybe we worried about it, or even if you're fluish or, you know, and you're sweating, that could keep us awake. Now, the interesting thing is when we are worrying a lot, feeling overwhelmed, those, and when we feel bad about ourselves, those type of thoughts make us more susceptible to illness. I'm not sure if you were aware of that, but the more we feel good about ourselves, the stronger our mental health is, the better our immune system is. So what this does, it basically undoes that vicious cycle that we can get stuck in 
of feeling bad about ourselves, getting sick, feeling bad about ourselves, getting sick. Now, this helps, these uh, abundant health affirmations help us to feel better about ourselves and with that strengthens our immune system. The allergies, uh, that can keep you awake, but I don't want to talk about that one right now. Atmosphere affirmations. Why they, what happens is we, what keeps us awake is when we are dealing with a toxic environment, when we are fighting with people, when at work, maybe people are on our case. Uh, they are critical of us. Maybe we are critical of ourselves. Those type of thoughts that are milling in your head can definitely keep you awake. And these atmosphere affirmations have been very successful in undoing that toxicity at work and in your home. I have several reports of people saying, you know, there's less conflict. They've had good meetings instead of uh, meetings filled with conflict. And when your environment is good, you feel safe. Now you can sleep because that's another reason why we can't sleep is that we don't feel safe. When you don't feel safe, you have to be high alert. You get easily distracted and have to pick up every sound that is around. And um, so, of course, you can't sleep because that could be dangerous. The atmosphere affirmation is really good in creating calm, inner peace and a peaceful environment. So another one that we have are the people struggling with autoimmune disorders. And they could having be having, if you have autoimmune disorders, you could be struggling with all sorts of aches and pains. That will definitely keep you awake. So these autoimmune disorders, you see, let me tell you a little bit about my training. My training, I'm a medical intuitive and I'm trained in allergies. And I learned with all the training that I had that autoimmune disorders are often triggered by a strong dislike for ourselves. It is as if we are allergic to ourselves. And when we learn to love and accept ourselves as we are, just had a sip, hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that. When we learn to love and accept ourselves as we are, then we can learn to like ourselves and the body will stop attacking itself because all autoimmune disorders have one thing in common. Your body is breaking, well, you're, you are breaking down your own body. Now, another one could be that you have problems with your periods. You either worried one is coming and you think, oh, I'm going to bleed tonight and I'm going to mess in the bed or I'm going to be bleeding through my clothes or it is painful. Um, these carefree period affirmations have been really good in reducing symptoms of the problematic periods up to 85 percent. So people have had less pain, less bleeding, less moodiness. Oh, that will put your mind at rest and help you sleep better as well. Because now you don't have to worry that you're going to bleed through the 10 pads that you put in your pants just to get through the night to exaggerate a bit, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Now, another one, lack of confidence. How often do we feel, oh, I can't do this, this is too difficult. Uh, now I have to do this at work, I have to give this presentation, or I have to speak to these people. Well, that will definitely keep you awake. And so this, these affirmations are great for building that confidence, but also they're very good if you are dealing with abuse at home or at work. Because... Um, we people tend people treat us the way we treat ourselves and often we can be so critical of ourselves so hard on ourselves and then we have people in our environment that are also critical and hard on us and that worries us and then we stay awake 
Now, what is amazing about these confident you affirmations is that they are specifically designed to speak to the victim and the perpetrator. So if you are in an abusive relationship and you're still sharing a bedroom with this person, you can play them super softly while you're sleeping and it will be talking to you, the victim, and the perpetrator. Because we need to remember, only people that hurt, hurt others. So they have been a victim somewhere in their life as well. And so these confident you affirmations are really good at undoing that hurt for you and the perpetrator and teaching people how to communicate with each other without violence. Violence. <clears throat> Then we have some meditations. I'm going to have a look with that with you because one of the things that is very important is building self-esteem. So that's a meditation that is on there. Now, another one, forgiveness. There's also a whole course actually that we have that people get for free when they sign up, even if they only test it. But here is the sleep preparation meditation. So it teaches your body to relax. So if you wake up at night or if you struggle to fall asleep, um, you could listen to this meditation and you it will help you relax. Or you can listen to this meditation during the day to help you relax and then you can go to bed a bit later and you're ready to sleep. But it's all about feeling safe. Now, another thing that could keep you awake that maybe you lost a, lo a loved one. Then we have the special meditation to have that process of, uh, yeah, taking you through a process that you can say goodbye to that loved one. And I know I've been there. I've lost a, a, a husband before. And this is the process that I used to say goodbye. Because especially if that death was unexpected through some unnatural cause or a natural cause for that matter, you know, a heart attack or a car accident or something else, then it is really important that you say goodbye in order to find closure. And if you don't, that is going to keep you awake. That grief can keep you awake. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, we said, uh, if you're dealing with cancer, if you given a cancer diagnosis, that is enough to share, uh, scare the living daylights out of anybody and keep you awake at night. Now, the thing is, my favorite quote is, it's not always about what you eat. It's way more about what eats you. So if you are dealing with cancer, guaranteed there is emotional garbage there that is caused by a traumatic event, a severely traumatic emotional event that you couldn't talk to about, talk about with anybody. So now it went inside. So if you're dealing with cancer, it would be good to also do some coaching to identify that event and then undo the, the, the emotional trauma that was triggered, that, you know, that, was, that happened there. And then the body has way more energy to heal itself and no more need to try and correct itself through, um, through cancer growth. To give you an example... If a woman has um, experienced a severe loss or even a child is extremely sick, now it wants to nurture. So it grows her breast bigger so that she can create food. I, I, it sounds really weird, but this is how the subconscious mind thinks because it thinks still like a caveman. You know, somebody's really sick. I need to feed this person. So you grow a bigger boob so you can feed this person but in the meantime you now have developed cancer so that trauma needs to now be undone 
so that the uh, the subconscious mind realizes, oh, I don't, this person is okay, or there's closure, I don't need this bigger breast anymore, and now the cancer can resolve itself. And there's quite a bit of research done on that, and great results have been um, created by people addressing that trauma and finding that inner conflict and clo finding closure for that inner conflict. And the affirmations can assist with that, but you might also need to do some coaching with somebody, me or somebody else, to resolve that traumatic memory that is okay. stuck. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Um, the 10 minutes is over now, but it would okay. be really nice if you could just say how people can get in touch with you, please. Yes, thank you for that. So the best thing to get in contact with me, well, you can see my affirmations.co website. Yeah. There is a little chat thingy on there. You can also find me on LinkedIn. Now, Hannah Cook is without the H at the end and the K-O-K is also the shortest way you can spell it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those are just some ways you can find me on Facebook. Um, yeah. So Brilliant. those are some of the ways that people can connect with me. Great. Thank you very much for your talk. It's been really, really interesting. And I hope people can get in touch and get benefits from all the wonderful things you offer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, and for those people that are here, if you want to know more information, maybe you could put your email address in the in the chat and I can just send you a bit more information and some links on how to get hold of me. Uh, yeah, so that's another option if people want that are here that want to find out more. Great, thanks a lot. Thank you.